Hey everyone, Credit Shifu here. So there's some kind of exciting news that Brex, the uh, corporate card for startups, we've done a video about them before, by the way, if you want to see that, we'll put it at the end of this video, but they are opening a lounge space in San Francisco's South Park neighborhood. I'm going down to South Park, gonna have myself a time. No, not South Park the town, but anyway, um, it's in this area here, South Park in San Francisco. Um, I don't know San Francisco that well, but uh, I understand that is quite a, a decent neighborhood uh, for this lounge to to be in. I'm sure they know what they're doing with this anyway. And if you're from San Fran, I'm sure that means something to you. Uh, the name of the lounge is The Oval Room, which confusingly is actually the name of a restaurant in Washington, D.C., if you search The Oval Room. Um, so that's a little bit confusing. I would have picked a unique name if it was me. Uh, but anyway, they've built this lounge as a meeting space. There is a conference room there that you can book. Uh, and there are armchairs and stuff like that you can sit in and, and basically have meetings. I'm sure there are going to be drinks and refreshments, etc. Now, the lounge is currently in sort of beta testing, so it's only available to select members at the moment who've been invited to test it out, but it will soon be changed so that all Brex members um, have access to it. Now, there are some restrictions as well from the terms and conditions, some which are quite amusing. So first of all, uh, members only, and they are permitted guests, so you can bring in guests. I think that's the whole point of this thing, to have business meetings, so it makes sense, you can bring guests. You cannot make excessive noise, like loud phone conversations. Okay, very reasonable. And, and there's another one uh, from the terms and conditions, quite funny. You cannot be excessively fragrant, uh, <laughs> which I thought was amusing because, you know, I guess you can imagine people going to business meetings, they want to impress the client or a client wants to impress the, uh, you know, the person they're meeting with and they put on a load of cologne or perfume or whatever, and they're excessively fragrant. If you've got a room full of people all doing that, it's going to be like, whoa, you know. Uh, so I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, uh, but the next one from the terms and conditions is kind of a bit strange to me, so I'll read this out for you. The Brex Oval Room is not a co-working space, but is designed to be a place for members to conduct business, congregate for planned events, and engage with other members or guests. It may not be used as a substitute for an office, even temporarily. Members are welcome to complete short tasks, such as quickly sending emails or putting the final touches on a presentation, but should not use the Brex Oval Room as a workplace unless it has been designated as such in conjunction with Brex. So to me, that's um, a kind of a little bit weird, okay? So you can only use it um, for having meetings, that kind of thing. You can't just like sit down there on your own and get your computer out and start doing something. I I'm wondering how they're gonna police that, okay? So is it that if you turn up on your own, they're gonna be suspicious? I mean, are you doing work here? Are you gonna be doing work? Or are you just gonna be sitting on your own with a drink, just uh, meditating on life or something? Or, you know, I, I can envision people like opening up their laptop and sending emails, but then having a tab open with like Candy Crush on it so that if anyone comes over and they're what are you doing? It's like, oh, I'm, I'm just doing, you know, just playing Candy Crush. Um, or if someone's, you know, let's say someone is making a presentation, someone comes over and be like, are you putting the finishing touches on that presentation or are you starting it from scratch? Which one is it, buddy? If, if you're starting from scratch, get out, you know? So it's kind of weird. I don't think you can really police that. I would go for a different way. I would say, you know, put a time limit on the amount of time people spend here, like maybe two hours is your limit or something like that. I don't think they should be that strict with it where like, oh, if you go there and use it as a workspace, that's not allowed. I think that's a little bit, it's over the top and it's hard to police. So personally, I wouldn't go this way. I would go for a time limit instead. It does look very useful though to have a business meeting, you know, a room there and stuff uh, to be able to meet with clients. And uh, the founder of Brex, whose name is Enrique Dubgras, uh, he told business insider. The lounge is a place where you can go and meet other people who are going through the same struggle as you. Like, hey, I also don't have a place to take meetings. So it's for kind of startups that perhaps don't have offices yet. They all work from home. Well, they do have an office, but it's just not that nice. Um, and so they want a place like this to take meetings. I, I can kind of see where he's coming from, although it's hard to imagine a startup that has this Brex corporate card that wouldn't at least have some kind of office. Um, maybe it's just that their office, they don't feel it's nice enough to impress clients at. Uh, but I think most companies who have this card at least do have some kind of office. I mean, even I, with a tiny company that employs three people, we have an office, okay? It's the size of a postage stamp, but at least it is an office. You could realistically have a meeting there. Now, a lot of the media talking about this, Points Guy Business Insider, they are drawing comparisons to the Billy McFarland uh, Magnesis card slash Fire Festival Founders uh, Magnesis Townhouse in New York, which is basically like a frat house. And 
he used it you know as a kind of lounge for members uh yeah obviously there are comparisons there but that was a very kind of uh you know cowboy operation that he had i think brex is probably a lot more professional and uh, from the photos it does look like a you know a more professional um professional workspace now i think this is a good direction for brex to go in because recently amex business platinum brought in the we work uh, benefit where you get a year's uh, like membership of WeWork, uh, you get to try it out, and I think later you get a discount on it. So that's definitely good to be competing in that space. Um, I just think that it would be better to see it as a general workspace rather than saying, oh, you're not allowed to work, you can only have meetings. I think that's a little bit restrictive. Um, but, you know, maybe in the future, once they have larger spaces and they, you know, expand their company, they will open it up to have a general workspace. So guys, what are your thoughts about this? Brex, to be honest, sounds like an okay card, but I just can't get past the name. It sounds like a breakfast cereal. I said that before in my last video. But anyway, we reuse jokes on this channel. Now, if you guys are in the market for a new business card, I'll put some of my favorite business cards in the links below. As always, it's an affiliate link, helps out the show. So if you want to see the advertiser disclosure, it's in the description section below. Please leave your thoughts on what you think about this lounge. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.